Brace for impact. Here comes an epic pre-Christmas cock of the week. Something to think about if you're soon to hit the highway and get away from it all, along with everyone else. I'm John Cadogan from autoexpert.com.au, the place where Australian new car buyers save thousands off their next new cars. Hit me up on the website for that. Today I am here in, you know, what the fat cave aspires to be one day after puberty in a real live TV studio. It's everything I tried to wean myself off in this mad YouTube experiment. And yet here I am, very civilised indeed too, I must say. But now, the awful truth about gymnastics and towing. As a seasoned automotive professional, I strongly advise you that these two things really don't mix. <laughs> Unbelievable. These people, you know, trailer trash, I think they're called, they share the roads with you and me, disconcertingly enough. I mean, you could be coming the other friggin' way, am I right? <laughs> at that fateful moment. Golly gee, Jim Bob, look at that. There appears to be a boat coming towards us on our side of the road. I really wasn't expecting that. It's a friggin' miracle no one was killed here, right? Not even our hero. So not even the gene pool emerged victorious in the aftermath of this wonderful event. It's always been utterly shocking to me that you could spend, I don't know, 30 years driving a friggin' Yaris and then inherit the farm or whatever and spend grandpappy's big bucks on some, I don't know, shitbox ute and hook up a three and a half ton QE2 and then drive off into the sunset until, well until that kind of shit happens. I guess it's just a feedback effect of having utes today with really powerful diesel engines, you know, four or five hundred newton metres, yes, and massively unjustifiable tow capacities. Getting to a high speed feels effortless until resonance takes over and it all comes horribly unglued, as if by magic. Hashtag Arthur C. Clarke. And I don't know about this, okay, but I'm tipping that the genius responsible for this near-death mayhem is not sitting there morosely blaming himself today. He's most probably busily filling in insurance claims and probably writing stuff like, the trailer became unstable and then the car just went out of control. If that is the case, I would retort, what a load of horse shit, you disingenuous mother lover! Trailers simply do not become spontaneously unstable and cars just don't go out of control. If they did, there would be a Royal King Commission. The grim facts here are that people just mess up. They decline to be accountable for it, you know, if there is an afterwards and they blame something else conveniently enough. Hence, the car just went out of control. Please, don't waste my time with these intellectually indefensible failures to accept responsibility for one's stupid choices. Small round of applause, however, to the civil engineering dudes who 
designed the roadside restraint systems, the Armco railing and those beefier railings across the bridge that kept the whole combination on the bitumen and extended the time duration of the collision. The ultimate happy ending, when you think about it. Despite Captain Mayhem's best efforts, yes. Four separate impacts there too with the railing, right? Watch it again and see what a great job that railing does redirecting the whole thing away from the trees and keeping it all out of the creek. Very well done indeed, civil engineering dudes. And bonus points for the two full spins by the boat while overtaking the tow vehicle. That's precision and you don't see that stuff very often. He even remembered to park it on the left. Hashtag Australia. Big shout out to the dudes at Dashcam Owners Australia for posting this award-winning video entry on their awesomely entertaining YouTube channel. You should check them out, Dashcam Owners Australia. Good safety tip, okay? If you are towing anything these holidays, take a careful note of everything you've just seen here and, I don't know, maybe just don't do any of that. You could try... Uh, you could try not driving like a hyper-aggressive bag of rabid dick tips. Just a suggestion. Unless, of course, you want to launch the boat in a hurry. I mean, most people, have you noticed, they just, they fuck about for ages at the boat rent. They hold up the world, lining it all up, whatever. They tie up the ramp for friggin' hours. It's indefensible. And what you've just seen is a very impressive dismount, I'd suggest. I think you'd agree, too, if the circumstances were just slightly different. That's how Michael Bay launches his boat. At least, that's what I heard. My quaint hypothesis here, perhaps we should give the cops complete discretion during the holidays. For a new 13-point demerit traffic offence, right? We could call it aggravated driving like a friggin' goose. You would, of course, automatically lose your licence for one year, or you might choose instead to roll down a 100-foot cheese grater naked into an Olympic pool full of salt, swim across and get straight back out and on the road. Completely up to you. Perhaps I should run for PM and campaign on platforms such as this. <sighs> my fellow shits villains, would you vote for me and my zero tolerance policy on aggravated mother nevers? What do you think? Is it time for a change down there in Canberra? Let me know in the comments feed below.